Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Coming to you live from Indian Trail, North Carolina. This is Jen with Jen's Creative Stampers. Hope you're well. If you're joining me live, jump on, say hi. Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up, some checks. Tell me who you are, where you're joining me from. Always love to see who's joining. Um, tonight is going to be a fun night. So... I will be demonstrating um, some new product, which is going to be um, all about your May Club Create. So I'm super excited to share that with you. Um, we're going to be doing some um, different techniques. Actually, a product that I hardly ever use, but I love it. I love it so much. And so I wanted to, if you've never seen it before, never used it, I wanted to introduce it to you show you the way in which I use it tonight. Um, it's beautiful. And I know you're going to love it as well. So, um, hi Ramona. How are you? Nice to see you on. Thanks for joining. Welcome. So, I am going to point you down. <clears throat> excuse me. And I am going to show you um, some of the new products. So, we're going to be using a new designer series paper, which is our double-sided um paper, fancy paper, right? Um, it's going to be featuring our brand new in colors. I'm going to be using some of the new in color inks as well as some of the beautiful gems. So in this club create, you are going to get mailed to your doorstep. If you subscribe using the link that's in the post, you're going to get a half a pack of the designer paper. You're going to get the full pack of gems and a full pack of the ribbon, which is a three, um, what do we call it? It's just a three pack is what it is. Beautiful colors here. I love these. You're gonna love them as well. And there's a ton in here. So obviously there's gonna be a ton left over. Um, we're gonna be featuring a brand new bundle that's out of the new um, annual catalog. I love it. I love it so much. If you're a demonstrator, this was not available for pre-order. We were able to see it and play with it at On Stage down in Houston. And I love it so much. It's called Spotlight on Nature. And it comes with these amazing, amazing dies. I'm going to point you down. Sorry, I'm backwards in the camera. But um, these aren't essential. If you are joining my May 11th stamp camp, whether it's online or in person, this is one of the bundles that we're going to be using. So go ahead and get it. Um, all of this is going to be available on May the 1st when the new annual catalog comes uh, online, right? All available. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator, let me know. I would be um, happy to send you a catalog. Um, just ping me, let me know, and I will get that over to you. So that's what we're going to use tonight. Um, and also in your Club Create, you are going to get two of every one of the cards that we um, do. And I also have a 3D project for you. You'll get one of those with all of the cutting dimensions so that you can create more and continue to create with the inspiration that I've given you. Okay? So with that... Let me get everything ready and I'm going to point you down. Okay, here we go. Okay, can you guys see my hands? Move all this out of the way. I've got a lot of stuff on my desk. Okay, so again, I'm so glad that you were here, Ramona. It is so nice to meet you as well. I have my phone over here so I will watch the comments. So. What we're going to do, this is the very first card we are going to make, and it is, as the new bundle says, Spotlight on Nature. So again, I'll show you this close up. Here is the stamp set. It is so beautiful. It has some line images that you can color in, it has the leaf, thanks, dear friend. A little background which we're also going to use and then this beautiful butterfly okay and then here are these awesome awesome dies and I don't know if you can see it very well in the camera 
but they are, let me take it out of this. This may make it better for y'all. All right, I put everything on these magnet um, cards, but you can see like there's little flowers in here. There's little dashes and dots. There's like little lines and there's a ton of them. So they all nest together. Again, this will be an essential that you will want to get for your arsenal and keep that. Um, it's going to go with everything. So, um, okie doke. So here we go. This card, I did not put any embellishments on it, but we will do that when we do it together. Okay. So I have cut out two of the circles, the small circles, same size, and then one a little bit larger. Um, this is it. And then I have a piece of scrap white, which we will go ahead and use a banner for. And then the card base itself is a thick basic white card base. Okay. And I use the thick basic white because it adds a little bit more structure to that card rather than just the basic white. Okay. So it's not as flimsy as the basic white. All right, so what we're going to do to get started, um, I always like to lay out my card so that I can see exactly how it's going to look, right, when I lay it down. And this one's going to kind of tuck under, it's going to kind of keep it very similar. This color of paper is called um, Basic Beige. I've got all my inks right here, just out of the camera. But this is it. It's kind of like, if you've been around a while, like Sahara Sand, but it's a little bit more olivey and lighter shade. So it's a little bit different. So that's what this paper is, if you didn't recognize it. Um, this is a new color, but I will be stamping in Pecan Pie, right, which was new last year. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our larger block here. We are going to load up this larger flower on that. Okay, and it just sticks on there. Super easy. And we're going to load this up, okay, with ink. All right, if you guys are hopping on, say hi. Let us know who's there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to stop me. So I'm going to lay this out exactly how we had it here on the paper, right? So that you can see. And I know where I am stamping. Let's pull that off a little bit. Okay. So I am going to really focus on getting this flower and this little flower in the greenery in my two circles here on the left. I'm not worried about the one on the right because I'm going to be stamping our butterfly in this one, okay? So there we are. We have that all stamped and um, ready for what we're gonna do next. And then before we move on, we are going to get the butterfly and do the exact same thing. Okay, ink it up. My pads, ink pads are really juicy. So just tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna go down with some firm pressure, pull it right back up, and there we have a gorgeous image. Okay, so that is what we're doing so far. Hello everyone, say hi when you get on. All right, next what we're doing is we are going to take um, our, get my mess cleaned up here so I don't get my arm in it. We're going to take our watercolor pencils. Now, my watercolor pencils are, I've been stamping for over 20 years. I, you can see, like, I just continue to sharpen them. They're awesome. So there's two different packs that are for sale in my online store. And um, they feature different colors. So you'll want to take a look at those. Um, they last you forever. Again, they're awesome because they don't just color in the image. You're able to take the water and actually spread that color out throughout the image. I'll show you that. So I'm focusing on that as one um, technique 
see some ink here. Let me get this up before we go further. So once you get it stamped, you can actually move them around. It's fine. Okay, because then we'll match them back up. So we, again, on Basic Beige is the brand new color. I'm going to kind of do some ink resist using this white um, watercolor pencil. All right, and what I'm going to do is just basically go over this these lines and I'm just kind of drawing over where the stamp was on those brown lines which was the pecan pie all right and I'm just gonna do this to the buds not gonna do this to the green stems all right I'm just creating some contrast and it's really subtle. That's all we really need. We're gonna do a little bit of that to our butterfly as well, but I'm not gonna go over the lines. I'm gonna kinda of get in where the lines are not. Just around the edges of the lee or of the um, the wings, right? Again, this is just gonna create some dimension. Super easy, no science to it. It's just really easy. All right, and then for the flower, we can actually take a little bit of our yellow here, and I'm just gonna lightly go over this, leaving the tips of the flower, I think that's a tulip, leaving that untouched, okay? You guys with me? And then on my um, butterfly, I'm gonna actually go over the brown lines a little bit with more, more color and a little bit firmer pressure. These are really fun to play with, and if you've never done it, I love it. I don't know if y'all like to color, but this is kind of similar. You're not really coloring it, and you just kind of go over, going over the lines. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an old olive. I think this is an old olive. Let's see, is it in here? Hang on, mine's older, so it's in this one. Get that out. Where is it at? It's hiding. Where's he at? Old olive. I think this is him. Okay, so I'm going to get the old olive out and I'm just going to go over these leaves just on the lines. Again, I'm not coloring it in. I just want to add some dimension because I want the brown to show through as well. Can you guys see that? And it's super quick, super easy. That's the whole intention here. Super simple stamping, okay? So with that, we are finished. So we'll move our pencils out of the way. And if you want to add a little bit of water, I'll just do this. You don't have to. I didn't do it on my original, if you can see that there. I didn't do it on my original, but I'll just show you here that if you add just a little bit of water, these are our water painters, comes in a set of three, they're very inexpensive, and I'm just some priming it, it's all I'm doing, right, getting the water to come out, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here. And that just kinda gives it a little bit of dimension that it didn't necessarily have before, okay? So you can see the difference. And you can wipe it off on your chamois as well to clean it. Isn't that pretty? And y'all can tell me which you like better. I mean, it just literally pops off the page. Super, super pretty. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. And then, so we're going to take our basic thick white again. We're going to lay it back out. And we are just going to glue this down. Okay. Just gonna add a little bit of liquid adhesive and I want to make sure that I'm able to match these guys up the way we stamped them right so there's that all right gonna add this one underneath match that right back up like I said it really does Kind of stand true to the name of the set. I love, love, love this so much. 
and it's so simple you guys that's what the beauty of all of this is, is that it's super super easy and simple okay so we're going to take our pecan pie again and we're going to take our stamps and we're going to do the two sentiments that come in here one says thanks and the other one says dear friend so what i'm going to do is you could add a post-it note um, to mask and I'll show you what that is so I'm going to ink up the thanks and that's going to go on top okay so we got that I'm going to grab a post-it really quick here we go I've got a hot pink one and what we're going to do this is called masking it's a form of masking okay so we have dear friend here and I as you can see dear friend let me bring it back is on two different lines can y'all see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask over the friend so it's only going to ink up the deer okay you guys see that so I'm going to ink that up deer take this off because we don't want that goobering up our paper right and we're going to go down stamp deer in the middle right below thanks there we go clean off your stamp don't forget to do that and then we it's easier you can go ahead and mask it again i guess let me pull back my my mask you're going to cover up the deer this time Okay, and you're going to ink up friend, again just tap, 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 get your ink, take off your mask, and stamp friend. And I'm stamping this kind of at the top of this little banner, and I'm going to show you how we actually banner cut it so that it looks um, like a banner right and you can make it however wide you want that's the great thing so what we're gonna do is when you get your kit this will all be cut to size right and then you're just gonna stamp those three you cut in the middle up to however deep you want that banner from the corner you cut to the top of where you stopped all right and that creates your banner super easy you don't need fancy anything just some scissors and there you have your banner okay so now we are ready to go ahead and finish assembling looks like I didn't glue this down all the way so let me get that glued down and I am going to use some dimensionals to pop this up and like I mentioned for your club create this kit you're going to get some beautiful gems and I will embellish this card with those. And that is going to be our brand new sparkle gems. They are just gorgeous. Can you see how they catch the light? So stinking pretty. They are the 2426 in color shimmer gems. You're going to get an entire pack of these. Again, the uh, monthly club. It's a subscription, it re, it's, it's recurring, unless you pause it, stop it, or cancel it. And there's no, there's no, um, there are no strings attached, there's nothing. It's 41 a month, that includes your shipping and everything to get to you. And you always get a ton, a ton of product. I love spoiling y'all, and I even throw like little goodies in there every single month. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and you get tons of inspiration. You can go back and make your your um, library full of all of the products and all of the um, the projects rather that we've done. And you can go back and recreate those. So it's super fun. That's why I give you two of every single one. Okay. So there's our first card. Here is the other. I don't know if you can tell in the um, camera. Hi, Amy. Good to see you. Thank you. 
I don't know if you can tell on the camera that I watercolored this one with the watercolor pencils and I just left the watercolor pencils without water here. So it's a little bit of a different look. It's subtle, but you, I think you can tell it even in the, um, the camera. So that's the first one. Um, and let me pull back my projects. This is going to be our second one. Can you guys see that? Again, I didn't put any embellishments on. I was kind of wondering which one I wanted to do, which one I matched the, the kit the best. So this is a different type of technique. Um, it's gorgeous. It's subtle. And when you see it, I think you're just going to be like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Um, again, I don't know why I don't pull this out more, but maybe because it, it gets stuck in a drawer, right? You guys know how that is. When you have your craft room, you've got all this stuff tons of things to choose from and then you're like why don't I ever use this so that was me um you're going to pull out your versa mark this is a watermark stamp pad and it does not put ink on the paper okay but it is a really kind of sticky ink different from our water based inks okay so you're going to start with that we are going to load up our leaf from that stamp set. Let me put these back on here so I know where they are. Okay, so we're going to start with that. And I have a piece of basic white, which will come in your kit. And let me find my little things. So we will be taking a little scrap piece. I'll give you a bigger scrap piece than this, but um, we are using what is called soft pastels. Has anybody ever used these? These are amazing. All right. So they come like this in a little light case and it's like this, um, this foam and they're chalk. And they're all dyed to match. Again, all of our colors match all of our inks, all of our papers, designer paper, all the good stuff, right? So I'm going to take this gorgeous grate because this is the card base that we're using. And I'm just going to take this chalk. You can see it's square. It's very easy. It doesn't come off on my fingers. But I'm going to take it and I'm just going to um, kind of color it on that scrap, okay, and kind of tap it off barely even touch the surface y'all can you see that there's like i mean this is gonna last you forever this is probably why i still have it right it just kind of you use it and then you're like oh gosh I haven't used it in a long time then i'm gonna take the granny apple green i'm gonna do the exact same thing and you just i mean you don't need a lot right it's the chalk so it's going to kind of dissipate when you use it so you've got that one and then i'm also going to take this really pretty uh, it's like pool party, all right? And you can tell I'm matching all the colors that's actually in my card. So it makes it, again, really perfect. So do that. And then I'm going to take the Daffodil Delight. And this is our light yellow. So I'm going to put some more on the paper there. Tap that off. And that is all we need from this. Okay, so let me show you how we're going to use it. Super awesome. I also have our little daubers. So I, I have not designated colors for these necessarily, but I just kind of chose one like, yeah, that kind of matches. I had to pull one out for the gorgeous grape. I've got one for green and one for yellow. So it doesn't have to be an exact match. I kind of use them for color families, just like I do for like my blender, my blending brushes here. I don't have one for every color. So just so you know, you don't have to buy one for everything. Pinks, reds, yellows, greens, blues, that kind of thing, right? So you got like six or seven major color um, daubers and your um, blends. Okay, now the fun part. So we're gonna take off our Versamark. And again, like I said, this is very sticky ink. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to ink it up really good on our leaf. All right, you can even hear how sticky it is whenever you're inking it up. 
and I'm going to do one stamp towards the top. Okay, and then you can kind of see it in the light where it where it stamped. And then I'm going to ink it up again, and I'm going to kind of go down here at the bottom and do another one kind of off to the side. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the lightest color first. So I put my little dauber on, right, and I'm going to go into this chalk, and I'm just going to barely touch it. Okay, and I'm randomly kind of going about. So what is happening is that Bursa Mark is picking up the chalk. All right, and you start to see, let me move that out of the way. Let me make sure that you guys can see this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Give me a minute. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm not very technology savvy. Is that better? Can you guys see it? I want to make sure you get all the detail here. Okay, so you see how this is like adding the color there, right? Let me go to the next darker, which would be the green. I'm going to kind of focus in. And again, I'm not hitting all the marks here, but you can start to see where this is kind of coming to life. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my very favorite color. Teal. Makes me happy. And I'm just kind of daubing this on. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you guys see that? You probably hear me too. Daubing, daubing, daubing. So I'm just covering where I stamped with that ink. And now I'm going to use the purple, the gorgeous grape, and come in, load it up, and I'm just going to be very sparing with my purple, kind of giving it some of the accent here because it could be overbearing, right? Because it's so bold. But what I want to do is kind of give it that contrast and pull all those colors in. And now I'm really focusing in on the green kind of stem. And you can kind of see where it's turning, like a beautiful tone. All right, and that is it. I'm gonna trash this. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave you guys closer unless you say like it's too, too close. Hey Cassie, good to see you. All right, so that is a newer technique, right? I don't do that often, but isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Can you see it? Um, kind of shield that a little bit. It's so subtle. It's so beautiful, and it pulls in all of those colors, okay? Now what I've done, I've ran these ahead of time for you guys just to save time, but basically all it is is just taking these dies, right, and actually running them together like this. So like these two together created, no, these two together created this one and these two together created this one, all right? So that's all you need to do is just run them through your die cutting machine, super easy, all right? Sorry for reaching. Okay, so we are gonna do that. I'm also going to take some, um, scrap basic white here and I have a um, strip for my sentiment okay so I'll put those aside and I am going to take my gorgeous grape you can use whatever ink you have if you have a lighter ink that's fine too um, but if you have the gorgeous grape it's super pretty and I see actually what I did is I did the same technique here without the Versa mark. So I'll just bring my little scrap paper back and show you guys. Okay. So got my two beautiful butterflies. Um, and I am going to, it's not as 
it's not as um, bold here. I'm going to get my watercolor painter back because you can also use it that way and pick up some of that um, color. Oh, Cassie, this is the brand new one. It's called Spotlight on Nature. We're going to be doing this at the stamp camp on May 11th. I saw that you registered. So we're going to be using this whole bundle here. Um, and that's what I'm focusing on. So this is a brand new one. Um, so I'm taking some of this color and I'm just kind of going through here. This is another way that you can use these awesome chalks. And again, I'm just, let me bring this over here, my, um, my chamois. So you can just see, I'm just wiping this off in the corner here and then I'm going to get more water. I'm going to load up some of that beautiful pool party, keeping the colors all the same, right? Staying with the same theme. I'm going to go more on this one, make them a little bit different. Following the lines that are on the stamp, that's all you have to do. It's just follow the lines. Basically, Stampin' Up's done all the work for us. I love that. Thank you, Stampin' Up. They really are the best. Do you know that? I just love being able to demonstrate all of their products, share all the things with you guys that I love so much. Um, and really, just the connection that we have with each other. Stamps are just the way in which we do it, right? We just meet so many awesome people across the country. I love that. So... Thanks for being here, you guys. All right, and I'm adding some of this Daffodil Delight to kind of fill in. This doesn't have to be perfect. Trust me, I couldn't do it if it were. <laughs> All right, and I'm just taking this Granny Apple Green. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I just stinking love this, it's so pretty. I'm going to be pulling these out more. Okay. So there we go with that. Now we will be just a quick fussy cut away from putting these on our beautiful card. I'll show you how we finish it off. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Butterflies are very, very easy, right? To cut out. So we're going to cut the little bodies. There's the first one. And then the second one. How have you guys been? Everybody doing okay? Yeah, Cassie, you're going to love it. Hi, Cheryl. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me. All right. Right now, it's like the perfect time for spring temperatures, right? Although we've just had a cold dip. Um, today is like 50 and freezing. I actually turned the heat on upstairs. Um, but we're starting to see butterflies. And my husband said, oh, I saw a hummingbird yesterday. I was like, oh, I got to get it out. Got to get my sweet juice for the hummingbirds. I love birds. I love them so much. Okay. So there we go. We've got our piece that we've done here. Let me score this. And then we will put it all together. Should have scored it before. So scored it four and a quarter. All right. And to add a little bit of fun, I actually used that little background piece here with the gorgeous grate, that stamp. And it is this one right here. So I love, it just adds a little bit of um, texture, but not, it's not like bold, right? So it's just very, very light. And so I'm going to go down here. It's gorgeous grape on gorgeous grape. And I'm also going to do it here in this corner. Okay. Maybe add a third one. Yeah. Extra pizzazz, right? Okay, so there we have that. Cap the ink up. And we are just going to ink this up. Okay, on the back side. 
once you put the chalk on it, you really don't have to worry about it coming off and um, it sticks really well to that Bursa mark. Isn't that pretty? Get it straight here. There we go. Much better. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this pool party circle die and I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive. Now I will say this, like when y'all get this bundle, if you like more of a border on the inside here, you can use a smaller die on the inside to cut out and you wouldn't be so, see how this is so skinny here? You can make it whatever you want. So, you know, just because I did it this way, you can do it differently. And same for this one too. Like I just got like little skinny circles. Um, I don't see that on pre-order. Maybe you could get it because you went to on-stage. Yes, that is exactly right, Cassie. It was only available to on-stage attendees in Houston. And um, yes, you are absolutely right. So, so then I'm going to circle and spotlight this part of the greenery and that beautiful, um, that beautiful chalk that we did. And look how these have come out since I let them sit for a while. Look how like, I don't know, they just look so angelic, don't they? Look so pretty. So we're actually going to take dimensionals and we're gonna do double dimensionals on each one. We're gonna pop them up. Okay. And I'm gonna put them like they're actually kind of landing on that leaf there. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And this will do the same down here. Okay, so there we have that. Get our gorgeous grate back because I didn't stamp the sentiment. Get my thanks out. I'm just gonna stamp that in the bottom corner here. There we go, isn't that pretty, the purple? Okay, make sure those are tight so they don't get dried out. Um, I'm going to put this back in my trimmer and just get a straight line. I'll give you a wider piece than what you probably need, but that's okay. You just, you can use two, right? You can have extra. So I'm all about giving y'all extra stuff, extra goodies. As I said, when I created this card, I did it with the, um, the cream or the, the, the white. I'm actually going to do, um, I'm going to use this pink. So this is what you're going to get in your kit from me this month. And I'm going to put two dimensionals. This is my way I cheat, right? Make it fancy. Or at least I think it's fancy. <laughs> Uh, I take the end of the twine, okay, and I stick it to that dimensional, right? And then I just kind of wind it. There's no rhyme or reason, no wrong or right way here. And I just loop it around because what I want to do is I just want it to be, like, give it some dimensional, d no, uh, dimension, I can't talk. Um, and then I'm just going to cut it, right? And so then when you take it and you actually put it on the card, it lays down and you see those fun loops. Isn't that pretty? And it just accents. I love that. Hope you can see that okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is take our little bling. We're going to bring it back. And these are in all of our in colors. Let me bring the white so you can see the colors really well but we could actually use some of the um, petunia pop it kind of looks kind of purpley 
and there's large and small. We can use this um, Summer Splash, which looks kind of like pool party. See how that matches really well? And then literally, we can take some of the um, Shy Shamrock. I'm going to take one of those. Uh, put him down here. Isn't that so pretty? Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait for y'all to get this kit. It's going to be so much fun. And there is card number two. You guys like that? Look at that beautiful um, chalk on there. Can you see how it pops and just really brings out the color here? There's the one we did, and here's the one that I did beforehand. So pretty, right? All right. You can even take those chalks and go directly onto the paper, and you can kind of mix them that way. Okay, so that was the second card. The third card, again, we have three cards and a 3D project. Okay, and you're going to get all of those in your Club Create this month. Um, the third card I love so much, um, it features our Petunia Pop color, which is a brand new in color here. <clears throat> I've stamped in um, Peacock, Pretty Peacock, one of my favorites. And then this is stamped in the um, Petunia Pop as well, okay? Now, what I didn't show you, which I need to show you, it is absolutely stunning. You're going to get a half a pack of this brand new paper. Let me show it to you. It is called Unbound Beauty. It's one of my favorites in the new book. Now, the new book has not released yet, but you are going to get this by May 15, right? That's the deadline to go ahead and, and uh, register. So you're going to get a half a pack of this paper. It is stunning. Look at the Petunia Pop and the Summer Splash. And there is also um, Petal Pink. Petal Pink? Is that right? Pretty in Pink. Pretty in Pink is the color that just came back. And then uh, Peach Pie. is. It looks kind of mustardy on the, on the screen. It's actually like a beautiful peach color. Super pretty. And there's your Summer Splash. Petunia Pop. You're going to get six by six of this, a half a pack. So isn't that pretty? Like the watercolor backgrounds, just gorgeous. So you have a lot to look forward to. Um, so that is that. And then, so we are going to make this card with the designer series paper. You are going to pull out some little strips of your choice from your paper pack that you get. And we are going to actually, I've cut these ahead of time. So we can actually layer these up. And again, it just adds some really fun dimension here and at different lengths and different widths. You can cut that however you want, right? And use whatever side that you would like. I may even use that side, but you get the idea, right? It's so pretty and there's so many options and they're all going to coordinate with this card. So know that whatever you choose is going to be amazing. All right, so let me set that aside for a minute. I'll show you how to do this card. I'll show you exactly the technique that I used. So you're going to get two of these um, for your cards, and then you're going to get one you're going to use as a mask. Now, what I didn't pull out, you can either, you've got two options. So let me show you. Here with the, um, the dies, you can actually take the die that you want and you can I'll show you which one it is so I used this one it's the fourth one in or the third one out however you want to think about it right and I cut this out so I do the center one first it doesn't have to be perfect it's not gonna be perfect but you are going to line that up so that you cut this out now pause for a minute because I have my, my room is a mess, but I'm going to grab my um, punches here. I have all of my, my room here. My room is small, but I have tons of stuff that's going for my buy one, get one free sale. It is like 
everywhere. It's all on my floor. And so I am like so excited for next Saturday to show you guys. And y'all are going to get an amazing, amazing deal. All of those things. I'll tell you about it as we get closer to the end here. So what you could actually do, if you have our punches, you could do that. This is the one and three quarter inch punch. It's actually on the online exclusives. So you could get that one or even the two inch. Let me see. I think the two inch would actually be perfect if you have that one. Um, so if you didn't have these and you weren't intending to buy that, you could actually punch with a two inch punch. I, I meant to do that before to show you but failed to do so. So here we are live. So what I'm going to do, I'll just do it with this to show you how to line it up. So you're going to go in um, to the center of your paper. This is going to be your template. You're going to get a blank piece from me and you're going to punch it. Okay. You can use it on something else. Then you're going to line it up and get the same kind of height on it or distance between here, your punch and the top of your page. Might be a little hard to line it up, but I know y'all could do it. And it's going to be punched or die cut off the page. All right. So you're going to get like a half a circle on that one. Same thing on this side. So you want to kind of maintain like where you punch that. Um, I do think it's a little harder with the punches, but you can do it and then punch that. Okay. So that's what you're going to have. And that's what your template's going to look like. All right. Everybody with me? So then we will take our basic white, which is going to be your card front. And you're just going to line that up. If it makes it easier for you, you can actually use your post-its, right? Super easy. You can do one on the bottom. You can also put one on the top. That way it doesn't shift. And you don't want to cover up your circles because that's the whole idea, right? We're going to be um, taking our blending brushes. And again, I've got an orange, I've got a blue, and I've got a pink, right? And I'm going to use those. So we are going to use the colors of the new Petunia Pop. Beautiful. We are going to use the new, um, here it is, peach pie, all right, and we're going to use pool party, which I love, so pretty. All right, and I'm going to actually start in the middle, that's kind of how I recommend doing this. So, once you get this all lined up and pretty. Then you bring back your scratch pad here and you are going to ink up your blending brush just a little, right? And you're going to actually take off that excess, that heavy, heavy ink. You're going to take that and put it on your scratch paper. All right. And then I'm going to go in the middle very lightly. You can always add more, more ink. You cannot take it away. But I'm going to go right in the middle. Circular motion usually works best. And you want these colors to overlap. All right. So the finished product is an overlapping, beautiful blend of color. But as you can tell, we're really just focusing on the center. Okay. And you can tell, let me bring my, my screen back out a little bit more. That way you guys can see more of my window. Does that help? Let me put my face down there. Whoops, I moved the screen. Sorry, making you dizzy. Okay, I'll put my face over there. There you go. So, and as you notice, so I'm not, I'm not pushing on this. I'm not pushing on this like this, right? It'll, it'll give you good pressure but I'm rather holding it here and just going in a circular motion on the paper. Okay. And you can always practice on your paper also. Just want to point that out because sometimes we like to give a little too hard pressure and then it's like, well, mine doesn't look blended. 
well, that's just because it's that pressure that we're, we're putting on is maybe not, we want to have a little bit of a lighter hand. So here's my petunia pop. I'm going down in the ink just a little bit. Again, the circular motion, taking off that extra on the yucky kind of um, scratch paper. And now I'm going to focus on the bottom of my circles and I'm going to kind of overlap like I mentioned if you need to re-ink do it it's totally fine and you may like more ink than what I'm putting on my paper and that is fine again that's just you know that's part of us creating in the way that we love so we can all be in the same class and I'll come out with different projects looking looking different okay so there's that beautiful petunia pop love that and now we're going to do the pool party the exact same way got my blue okay now these are large and we also have the small ones so um, I have a bit of both so it really just depends on what you're um, blending and what your preferences are so if you have any questions y'all can contact me and let me know all right so here we go with the pool party really honing in on that top part of these circles I'm giving this a little bit more pressure here because pool party is so light pushing down a little bit more Okay, want some more ink on that paper. Okay, can y'all see that? It's pretty, right? You think it's going to be really nice. I love that. Okay, so now we can put those blending brushes away. Can put that ink away. And I'm going to get out my pretty peacock make my day I love pretty peacock now this still has some of that Versamark ink on it it won't hurt your water-based ink pads but you do want to try and get it off and again this is just water so um, it just comes right off super easy okay so you clean that really good and then I keep my scratch pad here as well and I am going to go down Kind of tap 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 you leave your mask on I want to make sure everybody knows leave your mask on we're not done with it yet so we're going to stamp I need to pull that back a little bit there we go give it some firm pressure and pull it up all right so there's the middle one clean that off really good then I'm going to put my, let's get the other big one. So I'm just going to focus in on, because it's a really small circle, right? I just want to focus on this main flower here. So I'm only going to, you see how I kind of put it off to the side. And I'm just going to ink up just kind of the part that I know that I need, because I don't want it to go into the other circle. And stamp that down. Wow, that's so pretty. All right. Do y'all like this? Nobody's really saying anything. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, so then we're going to take our... Um, butterfly and I'm going to find here's my little block I'll go ahead and do that I'm going to ink him up all right and then I'm going to kind of stamp this one off a little bit let's put my paper over here okay as if he is landing on that flower okay 
clean that off really good. All right, so let's do the big reveal. Let me get this out of the way. You guys ready? Yay, Cassie. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these off, the post-its. can throw those away. Those, thank you very much. And there is your big reveal. So pretty. You can keep this, use it again and again if you want. You can keep it, I even store them a lot of times. Uh, I'll just store it inside my, my case here and then I'll have it again. So um, that is the base of that card. I also have a piece of scrap paper. I'm going to use Petunia Pop. Bring that back. I'm going to use Dear Friend out of the stamp. I think it might still have some of that ink on it. All right. So we've got that inked up here. And I'm going to go down, give it some firm pressure. Oh, good, Cheryl. I'm glad you love it. And clean my stamp off. Okay. And then I'm going to trim this down. Now you can fussy cut it. I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my cut, cutting blade here. Just lining this up, giving it probably it's three quarters of an inch here, it looks like. All right, close it down, cut it off. And then, like I said, what I want to do is take some of those pieces that you're gonna take out of your um, designer series paper pack and um, Just going to glue these down the way I like them. You can do yours differently. You can do them however long you want, however wide you want. There's no right or wrong way. Okay. And then I'm going to snip mine kind of like at an angle. so that it kind of gives me some different variation. Oops, it's stuck under my fingernail. And then I'm gonna take two dimensionals. What do you guys think? Think we should add some of this? Mm, probably not. I'm gonna leave, leave it off. My two dimensionals here. that down there right and then I'm going to add some adhesive here let's see how that line up right there I'm actually gonna get my petunia pop now I I'm going to actually pull this down because, can you guys see that? Before it dries. Now the liquid glue allows you to have that kind of time, right? So you can pull it down a little bit, give a little bit more grace time. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to glue this down flat. Or you can pop it up, however you want to do it. It's your cards, y'all. It's going to be fun to get this. So I kind of do it like in the center for the white to be in the center of the card. There you go. And there is that card almost finished gonna get our little gems gonna do a big one here 
Some of that beautiful, beautiful, pretty in pink, and then a do a small. There we go. You guys like that? Okay, here's our third card. Like how all those colors blend together. Me too, Cassie. Love that. And here's the one that I created before. You can see on this one over here, I used the small flower, which may be easier for you to ink up so you don't get it into that second circle here. On this one, I did the big one. So there you go. So there's our third card. And now these you can just throw away. Um, and now what I'm going to show you is a 3D project. And I love this. It is a fun box using all of that paper and the dies. I love this. Um, yes, Cassie, you're going to love it. You like that, Ramona? So fun, right? So this actually has a little bit of dimension. I'm going to turn on its side and you can see kind of how it has some dimension to it. So what I did is I cut out one of these circle dies that you're going to get. Um, it becomes available on May the 1st. And then I went ahead and popped this other circle up. And I actually snuck my little pieces in here. Look at that. Magic of television. Um, so this is actually a pretty and pink. Can you see that? It's kind of a lot. Of, let me turn the light down. Maybe that's better. So it's like a light pretty and pink. You've got your um, pretty peacock with the details, seeing the little flowers around the edges, super pretty. And then I even took some of the Shy Shamrock and I um, blended, I don't know that I like it though. I took some of this, have you guys seen the Shy Shamrock yet? It's a Shy Shamrock that's not very shy, it's bright. <laughs> Um, so I don't know where shy came from, but it's not shy. So I took that and kind of blended it on there and you can kind of see the difference. Can you see that now? And now you can really see the difference in that color. So you can decide if you would like to blend it or if you want to leave it kind of the way it is. You know, what we could also do is use the, um, let me grab the other ink, the pretty and pink. And that may be really pretty on that because it may be a little bit more subtle. Just to show y'all some variation, I'll turn that back up there. Um, let me get a light pink blending brush. So here's my light pink, right? And it probably looks a little orangey or whatever. But you've already seen... Um, how we do the blending, but this could give some tone on tone. I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension, um, but not, not as much color as what it did on the original. So this may be an option for you if you like it. If you don't, just stick with what it is. You can cut it out. I'll give you some of the um, pretty in pink paper. You can run it through your die cutting. Super easy. I kind of like that because again, it kind of gives some extra oomph, right? All right. So that is that. And then, um, what else did I do? I went ahead and stamped this in pretty and peacock. And then I just fussy cut it, right? So you um, you can fussy cut it or you cannot. I did for this sample, I did use some of my um, watercolor pencils. You don't have to. You could use some blending brushes or the watercolor painters. Um, so this is like an old olive kind of coloring that in just a little bit. Just figured it would be faster for me just to show you um, from this stage, right? So that gives some dimension there. 
and then some of the pink tying in those pink colors again going over those lines Stampin up has given us that guide But this can be used for any kind of gift. If you want to do some lotions, if you want to do um, a birthday gift for somebody, it's just really easy. And I'll show you how to make the box. It's super, super simple. And I'll give you the um, all the dimensions and everything so you'll be able to create that again. So that's all there is to that. Super easy. And you can go back over it with some water if you wanted or not. You know, that's fine. Um, okay, so to make the box, let me show you how to do that and then we'll assemble everything, okay? So you're going to take one of the pieces of designer series paper. It's going to come in 6x6 six six from me to you in the mail. So you take this 6x6, six six, you'll use it as is. I will send you a, um, a piece of pretty peacock and you want this to be, that is not big enough. Let me get another piece of pretty and peacock. Um, all right, so here's a piece of Pretty and Peacock, and we're going to take it, it's going to be five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, okay? And we are literally just going to be scoring all the way around. This is going to be your base. The pretty and peacock will be scoring remember you got your scoring blade and your cutting blade don't get them mixed up because then you have a oopsies done that many a time now when it comes to actually scoring your designer shoes paper it's much thinner than our cardstock don't forget so when you go to score just lightly score and you will make the score in your paper okay Cassie, pretty in pink. Love the mix of names. Pretty in yeah, pretty in pink, pretty peacock. See, I, I read it as pretty in pink, but you said pretty in peacock. <laughs> You're getting me confused. Yeah, I make up names all the time. Y'all know that. Uh, it's just just who I am. <laughs> okay, so maybe you can see these score lines. It's harder to see, but you can definitely see here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to take our paper snips and on these score lines here I like to I go in just slightly and miter these edges okay so you're always going to do opposite sides from one another you miter your edge and again if you don't get this the first time you can go back in when you get your kit, you can um, go back in and actually replay this video. And that way you can see exactly how it goes together. It's very, very simple. And usually the second time you do it or that you watch it is like, oh yeah, I get it. So I always do that. Okay. So literally you're just taking those teeny little notches out. And the reason we do that, <clears throat> because it makes everything go together a lot better. So I am just going to burnish these edges. Okay. And that way it all comes together nicely. And um, for May 1st, um, I mentioned I have my buy one get one free sale coming up. It is going to be a lot. Um, you guys are going to really be happy. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I've pulled out that I've priced. And how it works, the buy one get one free sale is huge bonus for you. Because I have to make room for all of my new product. I still have new product in my box, right? I've got it all. I've gone through it all. But I have to get it labeled, priced, and everything on my shelf. So, um, and I just do that whenever I bring new product in so I know, you know, what it is that I've purchased. And when I go to do my buy one, get one free sale later, I have it all ready to go. So, 
Um, the buy one get one free. I'm just putting glue on this as I'm chatting with y'all. It's just on that tab, okay? So you know it's just on the tab, and I'm just doing liquid glue so that it will adhere. When you use this stuff, be very, very um, careful not to go too much. And then you just bring those corners together like this, okay? And I'm just holding it, giving it a minute to actually get stuck and actually set, okay? So the buy one get one free sale is happening next Saturday at 9 a.m. Um, I am going to go in like an auction style. I have everything all put together in bundles and I will be um, assigning uh, numbers to each individual bundle. And um, what it is, so you will be saying sold number blah, 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 five, whatever, sold number five. Okay, so Cassie bought number five. That means that Cassie is agreeing to, um, at the end of the sale, I tally everything up and I, I send her a message. Hey, Cassie, you've got whatever, $50 in product that you bought, right? So what happens is then I assign a um, shopping code for the sale for everyone who purchased who claimed any kind of product on my live sale and then you will go into my online store on that particular code and you will go shopping for that amount that you claimed on my online sale okay so keeping with the same example cassie bought fifty dollars so cassie will go into my online store when I get that code out and she will purchase $50 of product in my online store. In doing so, I get a notification that Cassie bought $50 of product. Okay, Cassie, I reach back out to her. I see you put your order in. I need to go ahead and ship you all of the product that you claimed on my online store now and I will send it to you. You just pay the shipping. So in essence, what happens is you, by claiming that product on my sale, you're getting all of my retired stuff for free. The other benefit is, is that you are able to go in and shop first, very first day from the brand new annual catalog. So everything is for sale for you on May 1st, okay? So again, if you do not have a catalog, let me know now. So you can be going through the catalog, figuring out your wish list. That is what gives you the extra time. My sale will be live on Saturday, April 27. And then I will tally up everything, send you your total, which you need to go shopping for. And then once you do that, I'll send you all your product, my retired product for free, okay? And then Stampin' Up! will send you all your brand new merchandise, which is like this, this bundle, you could get this bundle today, you could get more of this paper today that I'm using. All of that will be available to you, okay? So it really is a great way to really get some great things in your craft room if you don't have a ton, if you're just starting out, or if there's just things that you love and that you're going to use. So um, I love doing this because it really gives my customers a lot of great product. And in addition, I will be throwing in freebies in every box. I have a ton of retired stuff or gently used like some paper, for instance, designer series paper. Great black and white stuff. I can't use it because I use this, you know, I do my, I can only demonstrate um, um, active and available product that I can sell. So I'm willing to give that to you for your order. So again, um, it's just another benefit of being a customer of mine and I will give you that benefit by doing so from purchasing from me. Okay, and what I'm doing here, so you guys saw me, I did this exact same thing to the top, to the lid, as I did to the bottom. Now the bottom is a little more rigid, and the top has the designer series paper, 
So it's a little flimsier, but we're going to create little thumb holes. Okay. So if you have a little, this is retired. This is just a half inch um, circle punch. But if you have even a square punch, something that could actually just um, give like a little indentation there to enable you to, um, and the recipient, the and ability to go ahead and grab the side of the box here, right? You can see that and this comes all the way down. Um, so they can go ahead and grab it and, and take it off. All right. Does that make sense? Any questions? Everybody with me? All right. And now what we're going to do is take our circle. And we are going to, again, just add a little bit of glue around here and just get that, not too much, just a little bit. And I'm going to glue this down flat right in the middle. Okay. And then I want to pop this baby up. So I'm going to do three. of these dimensionals um, and then also as I'm just telling you about kind of what's going on on May 11 even if you're virtual get in on the stamp camp it's May 11 and um, I have the kits to go I've had a lot of people order to go already and several in person it's going to be an Indian trail it's going to be a lot of fun using all new product again. So I'm all about that. And there's going to be giveaways. There's going to be freebies, um, all kinds of fun stuff. Pillow gift, love, love, love spoiling you guys. So, so I'm going to also take my flower that I cut out, fussy cut. I'm just going to add some dimensionals behind there. All right. Everybody with me? This box is fabulous. Um, you can make, you guys know I like 3D objects, um, bags and boxes and all the fun stuff. If you have any 3x3 three three cards, they would fit in here beautifully. And you could actually give a box of 3x3 three three cards to someone as a gift. And so I'm just going to lay that over top. Right, so you can see what we're doing here, and then let's see if I have any scrap white. I have a piece here, okay. So I'm going to take my petunia pop stamp pad and I'm going to stamp, dear friend. In the petunia pop oops I didn't do that I didn't give enough space let's do it up here okay because I'm gonna banner those two edges I think it looks pretty like that take my oops take my cutter and I'm going to cut that off then I'm going to cut this off. Okay. And then I'm going to cut that down. Same thing, similar on this side. And then we're going to banner both sides like we did before. So the May 11 stamp camp deadline to register is April the 29th at midnight Eastern time. And the link is out on my Facebook page. So don't miss that opportunity. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the to go kits will be mailed just after the 11th and um, really encourage you to um, do it with a friend, right? Grab two kits. And um, I also have add-on classes that you can do. And those are all fantastic. I'll send you all the product and everything. You have tons and tons of leftover 
it's always um, great. So especially with a brand new catalog, I wanted to give you first dibs on all the new stuff. So, okay, so what I'm doing is I put dimensionals just on the two um, far ends of um, this. I'm going to stick that down in like this here. Again, just give that. And I'm going to snip off this end. Can you see how it's kind of hanging off a little bit? Just kind of snip that off. Okay. And then I am going to add some of this pretty and pink, or it's actually pink flamingo. I'm going to double this twine. And I need to get more. Let's see. Hang on a minute. When you're on a live, things just don't go the same, right? So I'm going to double that over as much as you think. You're going to get an entire pack, so you can use however much you need, right? I'm not going to cut off some. You just you're going to get an entire pack. Three, three of these. Balmy blue, the flirty flamingo, and the um lemon lolly so that's a little long for my tails so i'm going to cut those off and then i'm going to take a do, do, do. there we go glue dot stick that there and i'm just going to put that right here in the corner pull those tails i hear my wild indian he is just like having a ball. The life of a kid, right? Okay. So there we go. So there's that. Put that back in here. Add some beautiful dots. So we have some shimmer. And love this so much. Do you guys like this? There you go. And there is your fun box. You open up, hold the two sides, you open it up there. So there's the one we did together. And here, and you're gonna get two. You're gonna be able to make two of these as well. So this is gonna be a great, um, great club create this, this month. So enjoy that. Again, I'll pull these all out. You can take a snapshot if you want. And I will get this posted over to, um, to YouTube and make sure you register for the class and I'll send it directly to your uh, mailbox. And um, let's see, what else? I mentioned both of these. This is the spring sale and the stamp camp. Both of those links are out there. I'll be doing a Facebook Live just like this for the spring sale so don't mention or don't um don't miss that and then i think that's it <laughs> so i hope you guys have had a fun time thanks so much for joining me live i love all of you i'm just so grateful for you and let me know how i can help you if you have any questions and um make sure you subscribe get this kit in your mailbox and all the fun goodies that go with it have a wonderful week god bless love you guys Bye bye